My name is Julie Robinson, and I am the Executive Director of Arts Up After School Program. Arts Up is a local nonprofit where we work with middle school age students, and we go in after school, we hire artists from the community, and we feed uh, the students as soon as they arrive after school. And then we do a short character building life skill lesson. And then they break into classes with um, the local artists. The artists provide classes in just a variety of art mediums in order to expose the youth to um, just the art world and creativity and, and how important creativity is in our world. Arts Up is currently at Wheeler Middle School, which is in Southeast Oklahoma City, as well as FaithWorks Community Center. Uh, FaithWorks is a small nonprofit itself, and we partner with them to um, have their elementary after school program. Kids, when they move into middle school, have another opportunity to um, work with adults during the after school hours. The Arts Up model really came about as a way to reach youth in our community that may not have the opportunities after school because of financial means. And so we offer the art really as a touch point in order to be mentors to these youth. Um, we really try to stay connected in their lives and um, get to know them and build relationships with them and um, just be positive role models for them, um, not only as they're in middle school, but we hope to continue that as they become young adults. Um, we did this in our previous after school program and we have students now that um, are getting married and having children and we're still a part of their lives and providing wedding showers and baby showers and um, help and career advice and um, such. So it starts in middle school, but we hope that this is a lifelong um, mentorship between uh, adults and young people. Arts Up runs uh, Mondays through Thursdays during the school year. And when the students arrive right after school, the first thing we do is feed them. Um, most of the students that we um, participate in our program are in areas where there is food insecurity. So we believe that being able to feed them when they arrive um, just is another bonus to helping them um, in their life process. And uh, so they arrive and we feed them. And then about uh, 15 minutes, we provide some sort of character building life skill lesson. And then the students get to break into their classes. Typically, we have three artists at our Wheeler location. And so the students at the beginning of a session get to choose which class they want to take. And they have to stay that entire session in that class. But so that at the end, they have projects that they've worked on that then we have an art show at the end of each session where they are able to show off their artwork to family and friends and teachers and, and staff so that they really build some self-esteem and, and some pride in what they're doing. One of the, the nice things about us uh, at ArtSet being lo at a local school is that we do not have to provide transportation any longer. We did in our former after school program and it was always a struggle. I will be honest, it was very much a struggle trying to get volunteers to pick the students up in vans and take them home. Um, but when you're located in the school, um, we the students are already there, they come right after school and then they have parents, guardians, picking them up um, at the school building. We find local artists through various um, social media sites. We also, it's word of mouth. Um, many of our artists we work for with 
for 19 years. So a lot of them are return artists from the very beginning. We pay a daily fee um, for each artist. Um, and this is another means of what we've always been proud of for Arts Up is that we are also helping our local economy and keeping artists in Oklahoma by being able to hire them. Our artists that come in um, are so multi-talented. Um, we have been able to offer some incredible classes for the students. One of the favorites is photography. We've done a photography videography class where they've actually, um, the students have actually created some social media posts for us. Uh, we also have offered a clothing design class, um, a class in leather work. Um, we've offered um, some just basic painting as well as um, watercolor, uh, charcoal, We've offered mixed media classes where they've done some clay work. Um, we've offered print making classes um, as well as comic book design. Um, so we try to offer a variety of multiple mediums that the students would really be interested in and be excited to learn. And not only um, be able to maybe possibly it be a future hobby or a career. We have one of our former students that actually has her own photography videography company now um, that she works here locally in Oklahoma City and she has also taught one of our classes. I tell you, since COVID, I've had a hard time with that. Um, but we do um, at any time love to have adults come and be involved um, with our program. We currently have um, a number of volunteers that come in um, either once or twice a week where they help not only get our food out, but the most important thing is, is we have them develop the relationships with the students so that those students then learn to share things with them. Um, I think since the pandemic, what we have really noticed that the importance of our mentors is that a lot of the kids are just, just really struggling with depression and anxiety. And so having extra adults around that are able to just sit and visit with those students and just listen to them has been just vital to our program right now. And we recruit those um, through a variety of means. It's, um, we do recruit through our friendships mainly right now. Um, we used to always uh, have the access to St. Luke's, which we still do. And we, you know, offer people the opportunity to come and help us as well. Um, but we're always looking for other ways to get more people involved. We could use a mentor for every student that we serve. So we would love to have people come and just be a part of our program, whether it's one day a week or one day a month or four days a week. We would just love to have people be a part and just be there for youth in our community. That's what they need. And, you know, we always say that healthy youth build healthy communities and so it, it really does take all of us to be a part of kids' lives, um, whether they're our own or our communities. So it's just very important to be a part and have po positive people in, in youth's lives right now. Being a new nonprofit, grants are a little bit harder to come by until you have about three years financials, which I think most people know. So we've relied heavily on um, really um, recruiting through our contacts and our connections and having lunch and dinners with people to share about our program. And we started a, a three-year commitment campaign where we ask individuals to commit a certain amount for a three-year period. And that kind of helps us know where we are and gives us a base for additional years. That's been very successful. We've also had, uh, we had a, a fundraiser at the Oklahoma Contemporary Art Center. 
where we just had an evening where we shared about Arts Up and we had all of the students' artwork on display and for sale. So we offered that campaign along with an online um, auction of the students' art as well. Um, we're looking at doing some other types of fundraisers, but our most successful really has been just through our connections, getting out and sharing with people about what we're doing. And um, it's opened up some foundations to uh, that people had connections with for us to get in and visit with those foundations. And then they've been able to fund us as well. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I see that every day. I have one student who, he, um, boy, he struggles from, uh, I don't, he's in the um, LD classes, you know, and um, he struggles sitting still. He, it, especially at the beginning, you know, even when we're eating, he will wander around eating. But once you put something in front of him to do artwork, he is totally different totally different. He just calms down. He gets very interested in it. He tries to follow all his instructions. So that, that's been a kind of an amazing thing to watch. Having done after school programming for 19 years, I really feel like the last two years I have seen so many kids really seem to be struggling more. Um, and I just think it, it, it makes me believe more in what we're doing and really hope that other organizations will try to get out and reach out to youth and especially in the middle school. Um, if you think about it, when the pandemic hit, many of the middle school students were young elementary students and they kind of skipped a couple of years and now they're thrown into pretty much becoming an adult world. And I'm not sure they're real prepared for it. And so it's caused a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression and um, a lot of social skill issues. And I just think that programs that are reaching out to middle school students are so important, it's especially now. Uh, they kind of are the forgotten middle child. <laughs> you know, um, there's a lot of things for elementary kids and then high school kids have more opportunities sometimes through the school or through other uh, means of work. But middle school is kind of that area of where there's not a lot to offer for, for them unless they are involved in some sport at school. I try to always keep track of how many students we are in constant contact with as they've moved out of our programs and um, really I honestly just try to reach out to them um, periodically. Some of them reach out to us. Uh, I heard from one of our former students that I probably hadn't talked to in probably five or six years just about two weeks ago. I ran into a former student at the gas station uh, the other day, and we're supposed to have lunch um, next week. So we may not have a day-to-day -day contact, but I feel like the what we provide is that they know that we're always there for them. Um, I think that's been probably one of the most successful things about our program is that they know that they have somebody that cares about them that at any point in time in their life, whether there's something good happening or something not so good happening, they know somebody they can reach out to.